Hi, I'm Josh Greer, founder of Linkspider and Linkspider.com. I'm here today with another post-game, post-editing tip. Today we're going to talk about VLC Player. You might know we've been doing some research on our workflow tutorial. This will be the tutorial that explains everything that you need to know once the game is over. It includes copying files, organizing files, editing, post-producing, generating the final file and uploading to YouTube. Now that's a very lengthy process. It requires a lot of research. And in doing so, I was reminded that we use VLC Player quite a bit. Uh, say after a game and you just want small video snippets to, to show your player to upload on YouTube, say somebody hit a home run, or what I do a lot of times is I'll use these small snippets and I'll bring them into a program like Coach's Eye to do some video mechanic analysis. Uh, VLC Player lets you do that very well. So we're going to dive right into that right now. If you don't have VLC Player, you'll want to go to and do a Google search. You'll want to type VLC Player Download and in doing so you'll get a, a very easy way to download it. You can click on this button and it will take you to the Video Land website. You want to download the file. It's about a 28 megabyte file, uh, not terribly large if you've got decent internet. Uh, do the install, uh, accept all of the defaults, and you're left with VLC Player. Now when you do uh, and you open files, you will now see that it opens in VLC Player. Um, as I said before, it looks very much like Media Player, but it does add a lot of nice features, uh, mostly for navigation purposes, very easy to navigate. You can use the left and right keys with a combination of Shift, Control, Alt, Shift, Control, more than you'll ever want to remember, but each one of them will let you do a short jump, a medium jump, a long jump, makes it very easy to find things. So you can do that. You can also click along this timeline to find uh, something specific. So for instance, I know that my daughter, who is a catcher, I have two kids on this team right now, and she made a pretty good diving play behind the plate, and that was about the 420 something mark. So what we're gonna do here in a little bit is we're gonna record that snippet. Before we do that, uh, I wanna show you uh, something that we'll wanna do first, is we'll wanna click on this view button, and we'll wanna go advanced controls, and you'll see it added a special segment down here. Um, there's a couple of things that this does, but really today we're only going to talk about the record button. When I click the record button, when I'm playing, it will start a recording process. When I click it again, it'll stop the recording process. And when you've done that, it'll generate a file in your video library. So we're going to do it two ways. I'm going to do it showing this way. Uh, but I'm also going to show you that there are a whole bunch of hotkeys that you can use to navigate um, VLC player. There's more than you're ever probably going to remember, uh, but what you're going to do is you're going to find the functions that you use more often than not and really take a look and see what that hotkey is because it's a lot faster to navigate using the keyboard than it is the mouse, especially when you're doing maybe 15 or 20 at bats in a game. You really want to do this quick, otherwise it's just as easy probably to do it in Premiere Pro or something like that. So like I talked about, there's some uh, the jumps. So we've got very short jump, that's shift and left or right. Let me expand out here a little bit. Um, the short, which is alt left and right, medium, which is control left and right, the long, which is control and alt left or right. I rarely use those. I usually use just shift and control left or right. One is bigger, one is smaller. I honestly don't even remember which one is which when I'm using it, uh, but you'll bounce back and forth and you'll, and you'll find things really easy. It'll actually get you close and then you can click on the timeline and get, get where you want to go past that. But the other one which I do use is record and I don't know that I'll be able to find it in this list. Here it is right here. Record which is shift R. Not very intuitive on the naming convention. Uh, but remember R for record, shift. I'm sure R does something else which is why they had to do that. Uh, but I do do that one and I will show you why. We're going to do two different recordings and we're going to do one click on the button and we're going to do another one with the shift R and I'll tell you why I like the shift R better. So we're going to cancel out of this. Uh, we're in the middle of the play here so we're going to hit uh, shift and left and that backed us up about three seconds. We're going to do it one more time and we're going to hit the space bar. The space bar is it's very like a media player. It starts and stops. So we're going to click the space bar and when she gets somewhat into the motion we're going to click this button to start the recording. Plays up in the air. Make the catch. Very nice catch. Runner goes back to first. And then we're going to hit the button again to stop it. 
Uh, so that's pretty easy. Now what I don't like about it using the button is it doesn't really, you can't really see that it's actually recording. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find another one here. Uh, my other daughter is on third. She makes a pretty good diving play and so we missed it. So again, we're gonna hit shift left and we're gonna beat the play a couple of times. And as it starts to pitch, we're gonna do shift R and it turns recording on, get the runner. We're gonna do shift R again. And as you could see when we did that, at the top right, it said recording start and recording done. It doesn't do that when you click the button. It only does it when you do shift R. And I don't know why they did that way. My guess is it's a bug. But as a result, I always use the key commands because especially if I'm doing a bunch of these things, I wanna know that I'm actually getting the recordings because sometimes things are hard to find. And if you miss the recording, you're gonna end up not doing it because uh, it's too hard to go back to find. All right, so we did that. It dumped that video, like I mentioned, in the video library. Um, all the computers are different. I'm running Windows 10. I actually think Windows 10 makes it a little bit more difficult to find things because they add so many of these quick features. Um, but if you open up your Explorer window and you go down and click on videos, it will take you there. And in each one of these files, it creates a file with a naming convention that's related to the time of the original file and the recording. So I'm just gonna double click on one of these to show you that it actually did record. Here's the pop-up play. Very nice catch. Really wish we'd have gotten the runner on first, but I digress. And then we're gonna go and look at the other one. Good diving play. And we get the runner out on third. So very fast way to get video snippets. I use this all the time. In fact, if I'm really honest with myself, I probably use this more often than Premiere Pro uh, because while whole games are important in the grand scheme of things because you don't miss anything, ultimately those small segments in time is really what you're gonna do. I, very few times will I actually sit down and watch a whole game from start to finish. But I do take notes when I'm recording. That was a good at bat. That was a good play at the bottom of the third inning. And that reminds me to go back to that file, I'll do those snippets, and then I store those snippets somewhere on my computer so that we can go back and look at those things. VLC Player will let you do all kinds of things. It's very easy to use. Uh, it is very friendly with GoPro files, um, so I like it a lot. If you have some trouble, feel free to contact us at linkspider.com. Thanks a lot for watching.